2018 was an insane year for movies. So many surprising misses, to be sure. But the killer things are the ones you don't expect. That's exactly what 2018 was for cinema, and some of the movies featured on our list are exactly that. Surprises. A lot of which are from first-time directors. Between that and the excellent diversity represented in cinema this year, our list is definitely full of things you won't expect. Coming in at number 10 is the sequel Rocky fans had always dreamed for, executed in a way that truly celebrates this franchise of over 40 years. Michael B. Jordan continues his aptly named role as Adonis, and this movie also features solid performances from Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, and Felicia Rashad. What's more, Dolph Lundgren comes back with an icy cool performance, throwing us fans back into the emotional nostalgia of Rocky IV. In ninth place is the representational tour de force, Crazy Rich Asians. This movie is just luscious. Everything from the all-star oriented cast of Asian cultures around the globe to the setting of Singapore as this incredible metropolis, it all just features a frame-by-frame -frame look of a culture that has all too often been overlooked in mainstream cinema. We found this movie just a joy to watch in a feel-good way, and man, we can't talk enough about that mahjong scene at the end of the film. Perhaps the greatest mic drop this decade, it's up for debate. Coming in at our 8th place is 8th grade. Bo Burnham, with his directorial debut, crafts a genuine look at what it means to be an adolescent in the digital age. Even more than that, it touches on many societal issues we are trying to rectify today and how they become ingrained in us at such a young age. For Worthy Watchers 7th place, Black Klansman. Let's break it down. John David Washington as Ron Stallworth. Adam Driver as Flip Zimmerman, and then Topher Grace, aka Eric Foreman, as David Duke. We found this movie half hilarious, and the other half incredibly terrifying. Black Klansman truly portrays the racial divides in America through a whole new lens. That last 15 minutes alone leave you incredibly shaken, and it's a harsh reminder that racism is still in America's subconscious. And number sixth is Hereditary, Yet another movie this year that features a new director. This time, it's Ari Aster, and he has to be congratulated for telling a story about family anxiety and strife in a way that hasn't been touched on quite as well as this. We found that Toni Collette stole every scene she was in, and we love that the movie never got rid of its pagan influences. It commits, at the end, to its bewitching intent. In fifth place, Boy Erased. Boy Erased gives an educated look into the life of a gay teen whose father is the local church pastor. With the setting largely taking place during a conversion camp, we found that the movie really gave the audience a new look at what conversion therapy actually is. Boy Race is an extremely poignant film on why this conversion therapy is a serious problem that gay men and women can still face today. For number four, we thought that a star is born truly shown through in theaters. Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga both absorb every moment they are in on screen, to be sure, but what truly sets the movie apart is in the way the movie cleverly uses its songs to tell the tale. The lyrics foreshadow so many moments in the movie and cap off the cinematography in a spellbinding way. Bradley Cooper is not only to be commended as one of the two leads, but also as a first-time director! Yet another to add to the list of firsts this year. For Worthy Watchers' third place, we have Black Panther. We thought Ryan Coogler hit another home run this year, and his movie, just like Crazy Rich Asians later would, gave so many people what they needed this year in film. It would be easy for some to just write off the movie as yet another superhero origin story, but we found that that would be disrespectful to the film's prideful intent. Imagine a world in which white colonialism didn't destroy Africa. If you couldn't imagine it before, after the movie, you can. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse was an incredible thrill ride and is worthy watchers runner-up for best film of 2018. If you haven't seen it, we highly recommend that you do. Miles Morales is just a joy to have in the film. The movie completely embraces its comic book origin, it's got wildly, incredibly talent for voice acting, and featured some emotionally powerful scenes. It was such a wonderful surprise, and it barely comes in second only because we know that there are two weirdos in charge of the helm at Worthy Watchers. And we know that our favorite movie may not be everyone else's. 
It's Luca Guadagnino's Suspiria. When it was announced that Dario Argento's stylistic cult hit horror movie Suspiria was being remade, our first thought was, heresy, it can't be done. Luca Guadagnino proved us wrong, however, and everything in this film is exquisite. Tilda Swinton's multiple performances, a cameo from a fan favorite actress, Dakota Johnson showcasing her true talent, Seyambu, Mukti Proms, excellent cin cinematography, and Tom York's haunting score. Everything coalesces with a story that is one part horror epic and the other part a thoughtful tale on trying to exercise society's demons and trying to fix the mistakes of the past. It was brilliant and was our choice for favorite movie of 2018. Minus the upcoming award season, which we might have something special for, that brings 2018 to a wrap. It was a crazy year filled with a ton of movies that were memorable in their own right, so we want to hear from you. What were your favorite movies of 2018? Leave your list at our Twitter, Instagram, or just in the comments below, as we always want to hear what's worthy to you.